Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to another online battle for Medieval Kingdoms 1212. Today we have an epic clash of the East as the Sultan of Rum, who will soon become the Ottomans, goes and clashes against the Mamluks. So we're seeing conflict that maybe won't happen for a couple hundred years yet, but it will happen. And this one is going to go ahead and be massive. We have over 22,000 men ready to fight and die for your entertainment. And yeah, this should be very, very exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one does pan out because not only that is this is also a 30 minute land battle which you don't get to see too often so there's going to be loads and back and forth I was guaranteed but this one goes down to the wire the last couple hundred men so if you do enjoy this be sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of the battle obviously subscribe for more and let me know also what factions you want to see go head to head in Medieval Kingdoms 1212 so kicking this one off we have two armies obviously from the Sultanate of Rum and there are artillery is going to be unloading onto the enemy getting one shot off just to go ahead and scare them and now they're going to be advancing their forces alongside that getting a little bit closer um, I don't know if we actually see any of the marks of the cannonballs uh, you can see a few direct hits there from the cannons ripping through the ranks of the uh, the Mamluk infantry there on the front line and now the Mamluks are going to advance forward as well both sides probably looking to close the distance and get their missiles into range because we have quite a kind of few late tier units in this battle you know a lot of these tier these are actually 13th century but we obviously have this artillery the bombards from the 14th century and we also have janissaries as well for the sultanate of rum right here the light hand gunners so it's great seeing gunpowder kind of coming into this battle as we progress forward but i think mainly these cannons are going to be the, the dominant power in this battle because they can really output some serious damage if they're left alone just to shoot all battle on the front line for the ottomans as well we do have some bowmen again i love kind of their outfit they're very light not heavily armored but they definitely do look very cool I dig that a lot. They like yeah, they definitely look awesome. We actually do have a small like kind of harassment over here on the right hand side as the horse archers come forward. I guess trying to take shots off onto the Ottoman infantry right here. But these are heavy spearmen, and I doubt that they're going to go down too easily. I mean, look at their armor; they're very, very covered in head to toe. These horse archers are going to have a hard task doing it, but it does actually look like they're focusing down these heavy axemen behind the spearmen. So not a bad kind of targeting right there. If you kill any of these guys, that's going to be pretty useful. And if they can, getting onto these billmen as well is going to be pretty nice because they will melt to missile fire if they're not careful. Does seem like the Mamluks are throwing forward all of their archers right now. These Syrian archers, again, not really heavily armoured, but they're lighter and they can output a ton of damage. They're going to be duking it out with the enemy forces and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ottoman archers. The Ottomans do have this kind of nice spear wall, though, guarding their front. This is not going to be easily broken upon whatsoever. And look at that rain of missile fire going back and forth. The Ottomans are definitely focusing all their arrows onto one unit. It's also quite interesting to note as well that this left Mamluk force took uh, three units of the Syrian archers. Whereas over on the right hand side they took some Ayyubid crossbows. So you kind of have a nice little mix there between crossbowmen and archers. I imagine these crossbows were more expensive and that is obviously going to come back and hurt them. You know if they don't have as much infantry as they would like. Oh some artillery shots coming in. Unfortunately not really finding any direct hits. And we have the artillery coming back for the Ottomans. Again, at this period, the artillery is just so, you know, inaccurate that it's not going to be finding its mark as effectively as it could. Again, sorry, this music is just a bit hectic, so let's just turn it down just a little bit. There we go. It's probably much better. Uh, we can really listen to the battle sounds. As the Mamluks again close the distance a little bit. Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. When the artillery does hit, though, look how devastating it is. Wow, the ultimate artillery doing some serious damage to these Mamluk infantrymen. Really, really crazy damage. Also, though, this is an interesting tactic right now, because if we look at, look at the overall map, there's a big gap appearing. It seems like this far left Rum, uh, Sultan to Rum force really wants to get stuck in against the Ottomans. And they're leaving kind of a gap that can be exploited if the Mamluks see it in time. You know, they can push infantry through this gap and really dive themselves into the background. I mean, we've seen so many times just how effective cavalry can be when they get behind enemy lines. I mean, I think we have some more Ottoman cavalry making their way across. To go ahead and fill this up, another artillery hit coming in. Oh, look at that. It just runs through the line. And yeah, the Ayyubid Sultan uh, infantry is just taking a pounding on this front line. 
It really, really is. Oh, beautiful as well. The Ottomans have managed to get a wonderful charge off there, ripping through these Syrian archers. And yeah, we're going to see these numbers drop quickly now as the cavalry pulls out of that battle. So many of them going down right now. And winning the range winning, winning the range battle is really important when it comes to these huge engagements. Because whoever wins the range en engagement basically forces the other person to attack their defensive formations. So it really comes up big. It really, really does. Oh, we actually even have some infantry clashes right now. As the Ottomans are thrown forward of their axemen against the Ayyubid Sultan's infantry. They'll be trying to take care of these guys with full force. I don't know how successful they're going to be, but they are definitely going to at least try. More axemen being committed as well over here, looking to reinforce this and really try, try and make a beachhead through the Mamluk infantry. The artillery is still going off, but it just doesn't seem like it's finding its mark as heavily as it could. The infantry lines are still advancing, even though they are under heavy missile fire right now. Doesn't look like too many of these Ayyubid Sultan infantry mumbo have gone down from this arrow fire. That shield wall just giving them that extra layer of protection. I mean, it does look kind of cool, though, the arrow is flying into the sand. You can see the crossbow bolts going flying past us. As the archer volleys come in again and again. Over on this side, yeah, as you can see, there's some cavalry charges right here, like left, right, and center. But this Sultan of Rum Force on the right hand side is really not wanting to commit. And if I was this uh, this Mamluk force, I'd really look to try and crush him this side. We all even have some Janissaries. Oh, this is awesome. This is probably why they've done this. Opening up a channel like this so that their gunners can really kind of get a nice volley off into the side of one of the Ayyubid Sultan forces. Because obviously the gunners themselves, the, the Janissaries, can't really... There you go. You can see that volley coming in right there. Devastating, piercing the armor of the Mamluks and, and Ottomans alike. We even have some of this kind of lighter uh, African infantry also coming in, or I guess Eastern infantry. These are more like Namidians, I think. And the cavalry, the uh, the the, uh, the Mamluk cavalry is going to rip through the Sultan of Rum's cavalry, and they can quickly charge onto these gunners if they're not careful. But I really see what they've done here. They've opened up this big channel so that the gunners can pound in and assault these guys. I really do also love the way the Mamluks have formed up their formation. Like it looks really, really cool with all these like staggered lines and stuff, like these channels to try and catch cavalry and stuff. However, they do need to be very careful throwing their cavalry in right there. Wow, the cavalry is just so devastating. It really, really is. If you're not braced, these like heavy cavalry will just run through you. It's actually kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and keep an eye on the infantry lines right now. And if you take a look at the experience on both of these on both of these units. It looks like the Mamluks have that experience advantage with triple, sh uh, triple golden chevrons onto their, uh, onto their spearmen. But it is only onto these kind of Bajir tribal spearmen, so it's not exactly like it's on some really, really elite units. We go down the battle lines. So I don't know how effective that extra kind of uh, boost is going to be for them. We've got more Mamluks coming around and you know, trying to hit their battle lines. Are there any real gaps appearing if we take a look at the overall battlefield? Not necessarily. We have some cavalry charging forward. They're going to be smacking into the, the defensive lines and doing some pretty serious damage. You know, heavy cavalry is king in this mod. It really, really is. It does so much damage. Um, and let's go on slow-mo just for a little bit because it seems like there's a lot of action going on. I don't really want to miss any of it. Um, especially because, you know, we have so many numbers, there's a lot going on. If we take a look at the balance of power bar, both sides are very, very even. It does seem like that the uh, Ottomans have got kind of a couple hundred killer man advantage, but really that means hardly anything. That could be any, n like, n number of units. It is interesting, though, however, the Mamluks are leaving back a pretty big contingent of their force, you know. These are good, expensive men, so to leave them all the way back to defend the artillery is going to obviously make their front line a little bit weaker and struggle a little bit more if the Ottomans decide to throw everything they have against them, which it does look like is exactly what they are doing right now. Yeah, as you can see, the both flanks are really, really struggling to kind of hold back the tides. I love the look of the, uh, the Ottoman Billman as well. It looks so good. Also, I mean, look, I mean, man, look at that battle, man. That looks so crazy cool. If you just zoom in, zoom in, apparently, I don't know, the, the controls and do that, like, 
Just look at the uh, the overextension right there. The battle line just going off into the distance. It's so goddamn cool. Especially with the way the, these ultimate units look as well. Really, really nice stuff. I mean, <laughs> people who like battle lines, I mean, Nelly with 12-12 is for you because it goes off into the distance. It looks amazing. Really, really does. But I can't imagine that the Ottomans are going to be having trouble killing this kind of lightly armoured unit. Because, yeah, I mean, even though they are going to have chevrons into them, they're not going to be that great. As you can see, they, no one can really get around this gap. We do have the Ottoman general back here. He's just going to simply be watching the battle. And we are starting to see a few units on the Mamluk side starting to break. But also, we have a huge cavalry incitement right here. The cavalry has managed to get round through this gap. And now it's harassing the rest of the crossbowmen. I mean, even though that the Ottomans are basically out of ammunition on these archers, it's still a pretty big thing to kill the enemy missiles because these crossbows still have plenty of ammunition left. So to wipe them away from the field, I think is going to be very influential. We also start to see a few of the Mamluk infantry, the Axemen, even going down a little bit as well. And I think once the line, I think once the line start to break, it's going to be really difficult for them to hold. However, this is a big gap right here. Miss Cavalry could easily make their way through. The artillery fire coming in as well. And yeah, that's exactly what the Mamluk Cavalry is going to do. Going right through the gap. And I think immediately going after these missiles. Or going to be trying to get a rear charge off. Because I think this is the section that the Mamluks want to try and break. The Ottomans are going to be pursuing them as fast as they can. With their cavalry. Looking to try and catch up to them. I'm not sure, though, that this cavalry is faster. Oh, look at that firing line, though. Ripping through the cavalry. However, the cavalry is going to get in onto them and hit them back. Apologies, but there, is a, there seems to be a bit of lag right now. I mean, we have a lot of men, and there's a lot of particle effects with the artillery and gunners. It seems like it's a little bit jumpy here and there. Hopefully, it will smooth itself out as the battle does continue. A lot of the archer fire going onto these Janissaries. I feel like uh, Legolas at Helm's Deep. The Ottoman general just saying, bring them down, bring them down. Oh, these Nafatoon throws go, because, I mean, look at that damage right now. The Nafatoons are so deadly and can just rip through a unit if left to do so. Yeah, you can see this unit is going to be getting demolished by the Nafatoon throwers, not Janissaries. They're obviously slow at throwing. They don't throw them as fast. They have to, like, cook it and then throw it. But whenever they do, you can see, I mean, look, look this line was winning pretty heavily. Like outnumbering this unit and now all of a sudden they're you know they're crumbling we're seeing actually both sides starting to lose members of their front line as cavalry charges come in to try and help and defend as best as they can and the right flank has kind of crumbled for the mamluks which is going to open up a perfect avenue for them to push forward infantry if i was them right now i'd be throwing forward all of my cavalry to get into the back lines Really, really effective stuff. We also have the Ottoman general actually having to go in and try and take out the Sultans of Rum, uh, the Mamluk, sorry, uh, cavalry who managed to make it into the back, round, back lines. Yeah, this battle is an absolute mess right now. If we take a look at the overall battlefield, you can just see that both sides are, you know, losing ground in certain positions. And as I said, this kind of quadrant right here in the center of the battlefield, where that gap got created, is going to be perfect for the Mamluks to advance forward and start to cause some harassment. They're coming in, yeah, they're looking to try and take out this cavalry back here. And this cavalry is extremely elite with its three golden chevrons. It's going to make it a definite foe to try and take out. We have both the Ottoman generals back here. And oh my god, look at that a huge row there by the Ottoman middle. The Ottoman middle is just broken right now. And the Sultan of Rum, I mean the Mamluk, sorry, is just barricading their way through uh, the, the Ottoman line. And oh my god, imagine if they had these units back here following up on this. They would just be able to absolutely devastate them. I really did not the Ottoman, expect the Ottomans to get beaten back that heavily. Um, I mean, we're kind of seeing the same over on this left-hand side. The Ottomans have won both of the flanks right now, but their centers are struggling. Even this, even this center is getting beaten back pretty heavily by the Mamluks. They are looking for blood right now, and they are not giving it up. The centers need to quickly come in and reinforce the center. So you have more infantry going up against the Ottoman Axemen. With the artillery coming in as well, it's just really brutal. Then Janissaries really opened up, not the Janissaries, sorry, the, uh, the Nafatoon Friars really opened up this flank and I think it kind of exploded into just a, a, a constant effect of like the infantry breaking and then being outflanked and then breaking and then the entire center just absolutely crumbled over on this side of the battlefield. There's not so much cavalry left. We do actually have a big engagement right now. I mean, it does seem like the Ottomans are swarming down onto these Mamluk Lancers. 
And if they can kill them, that will be huge for them. It really, really will. It'll be super big if they can kill any of the generals, which they are doing a good job. But as you can see, all the cavalry is kind of forced around. The Mamluks, though, are quickly committing another unit of swordsmen here to help out in the fight. And if they can get this infantry involved, that'll be pretty big for them. Because the infantry will just act as another buffer. And if this cavalry tries to get out, yeah, we could quickly see the, uh, the general actually breaking right now. That would not be good whatsoever. The Ottoman, the Ottoman spearmen are now breaking their way around these flanks, looking to quickly try and reinforce and form another battle line to make their way in. We also have actually some Janissaries right here as well. More, out, I mean, we send the center has been absolutely brutalized. I mean, taking a look at the the damage right now, it's kind of crazy. Over on this side again, even the center has really been broken up. I mean, it's very hard to, to tell who's really coming out on top. Bands of Power does seem very, very even still as well. With, again, not much in it. Only a couple hundred men here and there. The Mamluks have won the center. The Ottomans have won the flanks. And now it's really who can consolidate their forces first and move on. They also have managed to kill the enemy general, uh, the enemy cavalry right here, which was huge. Just with the sheer swarm of their own cavalry. Which is not uh, bad whatsoever. And now they're rear charging through these Finn ranks. In Medieval 12 12, Finn ranks just get demolished by cavalry because, you know, there's no bracing. The horses, even light horses, will rip through really thin lines. And they do so much damage when they trample the enemy formations as well. Lots of infantry now breaking around. These Janissaries are going to be falling back as best as they can. Yeah, and as I said, I think this battle is going to really come down to who can form up their battle lines first and it seems like the Sultans of Rome has done a great job right here at kind of consolidating their forces and just picking off what the centre did really break through right now. Yeah look at that, if we take a look at the overall battlefield it seems like the Sultans of Rome kind of took the initiative and managed to like put all their units together. I don't know if the balance of power is showing that. I mean kind of there's a couple hundred men here and there but I feel like the Sultans of Rum's men are a lot more consolidated and they also have all of their cavalry together even though their cavalry is duking it off and any lone hit here by the Mamluk cavalry could be devastating for the Ottomans because they could just find a lucky hit on the general that would be a, give a big morale debuff to the enemy units and then and then who knows what would go down then you know we could see a big route off there by the by the generals. Especially as the Ottomans are also bringing over spearmen to this fight, so the cavalry just won't really stand a chance. This Sultan General, though, is down to 27. He has a good chance of dying now when they start to lose more men. You know, when you're going to get below, like, 50% HP, maybe just around that mark, you really have a chance of, uh, you know, losing that General. Lots of infantry being thrown in. Even the archers are being committed to this fight right now. Looking to break these guys. I can't imagine them. Yeah, morale is really bad. So if there's any cavalry lying around the battlefield, which it doesn't look like there is, it could be very, very bad for the Mamluks. These buildmen forming up and then just having a nice cavalry charge coming in. We do have a lot of horsemen over here, though. And again, even though these guys do look like horse archers, they are, you know, also pretty heavy infantry. Don't be deceived by the horse archer symbol. These aren't like, you know, lighter horse archers of the steps or anything like that these are like heavy heavy cavalry which also have a bow trained in both ways and they're going to be trying to kill these billmen it's a good unit to try and take out is the artillery still shooting no okay so the artillery has been overwhelmed right now and it seems like the mamluks are forming a defensive square around their general with spearmen and infantry this is hilarious this is really cool i mean their units would be really useful to, to bring over here but Oh my god, so, I mean, the balance of power looks really even, right? Yeah, there's literally only a couple hundred men in it, but, I mean, taking a look at this, it just seems like the Ottomans have so many units here, like, so many units like, formed up here. I guess there's not many of them in the... I mean, there's still quite a few of them, though. And the, these gunners start opening up in this big clump, I guess. This is just, like, a good couple hundred men here, which is just going to get shot by Janissaries. I can already see it, but Janissaries making their way across. The cavalry fighting here as well is going to be clear, cleaning them off. Yeah, it seems like the Sultan of Rum is uh, going to claim this one as they bring around more infantry. I mean, there's a few dudes scattered around, but it really is just a messy, messy fight right now. 
as we have more of the Ottoman Axemen charging their way into the battle. Looking to get that big shock damage off. And clean their opponents from this earth. Okay guys, so it looks like this kind of main battle has been finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump ahead and um, go ahead and just wait until there's a, but when, until this kind of final stand happens. Because right now I think this cavalry is just going to end up falling back. And if anything does crazy head does happen, then I will be sure to bring it. But yeah, I don't think, I think it's just going to be kind of this final stand and a bit of a clean up here. Okay guys, it looks like they are being surrounded. The Ottomans are coming to finish off the last remnants of the Mamluks. The Janissaries have formed up as well. And even though that they are shooting some siege crewmen, they're still going to be finding, you know, rogue shots going off into this big clump. They also have a unit of Axemen as well, going to be chasing these dudes down. Cutting them down. I mean, the siege crew are never really going to make anything, you know, worth, you know, worth fighting for. They're, they're very lightly armored, not really chained in the arts. And you can already see missile fire coming in on these guys as they make their famous last stand. I mean, this is pretty cool to watch, though. I definitely do dig this. That's why I always love these replays, because there's always like a small twist of them. You know, it's not always that they're just like a super competitive battle. I mean, they are, they are always super competitive, but like, there's even, you know, some story to them and stuff, and I think it's better than people like super tryharding is having like stuff like this happen. It kind of just adds more flavor to the battle. The Janissary is forming up though. Yeah, that volley. Oh, that's going to be just kill so many of the front line. I mean, to be fair, not that many of them did die, but you know, it's going to start racking up kills pretty horrifically. Uh, what also happened over here? Yeah, so it does actually seem like that the, uh, the Mamluks managed to kind of win this corner of the battlefield. I mean, look at all these bodies as well. My God. Definitely racking up the kill count. And now the cavalry can actually start coming in and harassing and supporting this. But I mean, obviously they're about to get completely enveloped. We're going to have a unit of cavalry advancing forward. Is under a bit of missile fire. They're going to be retaliating with their own arrow fire. There's obviously a lot of spearmen. There's cavalry coming out here as well. But the, the Ottoman cavalry doesn't want to overcommit either because there are still three heavy knights right here for the Mamluks, which could do some serious damage. I'm surprised as well that these guys are actually getting kind of close to routing. Oh, and a nice little charge there by the Mamluks charging onto the Janissaries. However, the cavalry is going to send these guys to the ground and completely wipe them out as more spearmen come in. I mean, this balance of power bar is not that crazy, considering that so many of these guys are right here. Like, it's going to be kind of hard for them to break this, because also, as I said earlier, cavalry is king in these 12-12 battles, and... The Mamluks still have three whole units left of cavalry, like, pretty basically fully strengthed. They're a bit tired, but if they get rested, you know, they're going to be very, very potent. And I think they'll be able to easily beat back what the Ottomans have left. And it'll be very interesting to see if the Ottomans can break this big new box, I will say, uh, from... From the Mamluks, because... It's not easy to break through something like this, especially when you have your general in the center as well, heavy spearmen on the flanks. No matter what you do, it's going to be hard. And the thing is, they can commit as many men as they want, but they have to be extremely careful because if this cavalry rear charges here, they're going to demolish the infantry from the back. So they have to be very, very careful. And I think that's exactly what these spearmen are going to be go going doing, is just basically screening the lines. We also actually do have one unit of spearmen over here. Slowly making their way in. They're actually in shield wall right now, so they should honestly break that. And get their asses over to this battle ASAP. Yeah, these spearmen are basically screening. But look at that. Yeah, more Ottoman infantry is just breaking away. I honestly don't know who's going to win this battle. Like, I thought the Sultan of Rum just had this one in the bag. But, I mean, this is going to be hard. And there's not really, like, they don't have any cannons left. They have a few missiles that can shoot them, but... And the Mamluk cavalry is, is very, very potent. And I think the Janissaries are out of ammunition. The Janissaries actually do have some ammunition left. But as we saw, they didn't really get that many kills while shooting into this huge clump. You kind of expected more. I honestly don't know who is going to win this one. Could really honestly go either way right now. Because the Mamluks just have so much heavy infantry poured into here. Who haven't fought and they're, they're basically all fully strength. But these guys are defending the artillery the entire battlefield. And as you can see, because of that, they are routing the Sultan of Rum. Wow. The gunners are now getting their job just to shoot him. But even still, like, each volley isn't doing that much damage. 
You kind of would expect the Janissaries to do a lot more, but because these guys are in shield wall, they're formed up, they're heavily armored. These shields off, off of them are good amounts of protection. You know, if they could fire onto these, these Mamluk Tabadaria back here, they would slaughter them because they have no shields, but... These guys have a bit more protection. Now, obviously, these gunners are going to be doing damage. But also, you've got to remember as well that there is only 44 of them. So because there's only 44 of them, there's a lot less fire coming in every single volley. So they're only killing like three or four. And they're also being focused down by, I think, the horse archers back there. Yeah, this bubble, I, I don't know how, how, like, how it's going to go down. Getting a ballsy move right here as the Ottomans decide to commit their cavalry to this fight. Wow, this is really, really interesting because I think this battle will determine who wins the battle, who wins the, uh, the overall engagement, especially with the Ottoman generals having to go in as well. We do have some of the cavalry, and I mean, the fact that the Sultans of Rum can quickly commit their spearmen around here, I mean, it might be a good idea just all of a sudden to commit these this infantry because... I think at this point, you have plenty to go ahead and really go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You cannot lose this cavalry engagement. You're very close to you. There you go. The Ottoman general has now been routed. Is there? There's still one more left keeping the units around, but... Yeah, the entire Ottoman general has gone down. If I was the Sultan of Rum, I mean, the, if I was the Mamluks right now, I think I would commit everything I have to this battle. Another cavalry charge coming in. Really nice moves right here by the Mamluks to segregate the enemy cavalry and surround them bit by bit not bad moves whatsoever they need to get their cavalry out because yeah i think if they if they win the cavalry fight this battle is just over i mean even now i think probably the mamluks could break this kind of awesome square that they have and commit it elsewhere there's no cavalry left for them i mean there's no need for them because they're gonna win this battle i think they could easily just break that flank i mean we still have this position over here which is basically over we have some of these awesome looking bowmen with their just axes no shields though Charging in against these guys. Actually, in the rear as well. Yeah, they're going to do a pretty good job. Even for archers. They managed to rout these spearmen. And there, they're completely gone. The Ottoman, there's like no archer fire left whatsoever as well. The Mamluk cavalry has fallen back right now. They have actually lost one unit. But, I mean, they have the cavalry advantage right now. And here we go. Are we going to start to see... Are we going to see the, uh, the Mamluks finally charge out of here? I don't know. Because I just... I mean... Yeah, I just don't see how... I mean, the Kelver Cavalry's gone now as well. I don't see how that they can break this. I mean, honestly, I think the Mamluks at this point have won, like, done enough damage. They can break this formation, engage upon a long line, and then just use their cavalry to hammer an anvil. And I think the cavalry hammering anvil would be more than enough to win this because they have, what, five units of infantry? That can basically match this entire battle line. And their men are fresher as well. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to form up with one last epic charge. Cavalry on the flanks. I think this cavalry might just be enough to win it. They're going to have really, really thin lines. And all you can see right this, the Ottomans are quickly charging in right here. Looking to go ahead and basically hit them before they charge in. Oh, Rovo charging onto Billman. It's going to be catastrophic for them. The Billman have such good frontal defense that it's going to be very hard for them to break it. Yes, we're going to have to keep an eye on the cavalry. It's going to be all about the cavalry. You can see this flank going down. A wonderful cavalry right charge right there by the Sultanate. And then charging into the back of these Sultanate infantry. And then onto the cavalry as well. Yeah, I think I think the, the Mamluks might have this. But the Bands of Power is telling me that it's closer than I think it's going to be. I just I feel like the cavalry is just going to be more than enough. Because And the center as well. Yeah, having this unit of Tabadaria with silver experience fresh and raring to go this unit has barely swung its weapon you also get a wonderful charge off there yeah there you go and that's gonna be all she wrote that's gonna be all she wrote i think for the battle the front lines are starting to break the general cavalry is going down all we have to do is kill this general and i think it is completely over what a battle i was for sure thinking that the ottomans had this one you now after that initial engagement they just seemed like they had so much left but keeping this elite block back and committing it at the last second, I think was just absolutely huge. I mean, there just wasn't enough missiles left or cavalry to really compensate. Yeah, you can see the Ottoman general running for his life right now. He realizes that there is no escape and he charges in himself. Not a bad charge and there we go. The battle is over. The Mamluks are going to claim victory and assert their dominance. I mean, again, the Mamluks were kind of more of the dominant power at this point. In history, anyway, with the Ayyubid Sultan, of course they were. But even for the next couple hundred years, the Mamluks were the dominant power in the East, really. 
until the rise of the Ottomans in like the 1400s. And yeah, there we go. Lots of infantry breaking now. And the battle is going to be over. So yeah, massive GG to the players who sent this one in. It was a really, really awesome battle. Really, really cool. Went down to the last second. Let's take a look at some of these kills. I'm interested to see who really racked up the most. So if we take a look at the Ottomans, the Sultans of Rum right now. Some of their heavy axemen getting over 200 kills, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we also have the Bombards as well, over 100 kills apiece. No one really racking up like a ridiculous amount. Just everyone kind of doing pretty decent in this army. Over on the other side as well. Again, the Bombards and the Cavalry doing good damage over 200 kills on that unit, which is nice. Over on to the Ayyubid Sultanate, aka the Mamluks. We have over 450 kills on that general unit. My god, he went in. And on the rest of his cavalry as well, over 300 kills on that unit. Pretty impressive. You can see that the Mamluks went for like a really cheap but upgraded light infantry line, which is kind of a smart idea, you know. Bring like some crap units, but really upgrade them. And they're probably still going to be super cheap. So that's not a bad tactic right there. Over onto the other Ayyubid Sultanate army, we do have again these uh, these Nafatoons over 183 kills. Bombards doing some serious damage. Um, and the Axemen doing nice as well. How many kills did the, Naf uh, did the uh, Janissaries get? So only 58 on this one. And 129 on this one. So not that many honestly. But if you guys enjoyed this battle. Be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.